That okay. was literally the demo, right? Mm -hmm. Before, um, before you went live. Yeah. And I was like, what? I had to tell him, like, you probably won't believe me, but <laughs> I'm actually going to. And I said, you know, hopefully if, if this integration makes sense and it works and it's beneficial for both, then who knows? Maybe there's an opportunity to, to add that integration for other products. Right, you know, yeah, definitely, you know, yeah. As, as you guys are developing and stuff, so. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see. It'll be cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Looks like we're live. Welcome to Live at Epifan, episode number 83. Very special episode today. We have a guest. This is Rudy Ellis, the founder and CEO of Switchboard Live. Welcome, Rudy. Philip, thanks for having me, man. It's, uh, you guys have a really cool office here. Um, great, beautiful day here in Palo Alto. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. So today, we're talking all about Switchboard Live. We're going to be going through the UI, showing a short demo on how to pair it with the webcaster. But first, I'm going to go into some news. So. NAB New York was last week. Uh, we had a booth there, and we announced a security update for our mm. Perl and Perl 2 units. So if you want to check out the video we have, uh, link is down below in the description. Uh, so find that there. Next week, or, uh, have you been to NAB, Rudy? Actually, I didn't go this year. Um, I did go last year. It's, it's, it's a much smaller show, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, than the massive one that's in Vegas. Right. But um, it's, it's good. You know, I, I think it's more folks that are there to kind of put their, get their hands and really touch, you know, some of the gear. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a different, totally different vibe, mm -hmm. um, especially because it's, it's co-hosted with, like, that audio show as well. Right. So right. there's a lot of audio files there as well. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I didn't get a chance to make it this year, but hopefully um, next year we'll put it on our list. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so next week, we also have another trade show coming up, Educause in Colorado. That's in Denver. So um, if you're in the area or you're at the show, please stop by our booth, say hi, check out our demos, and um, yeah. So more industry news. Facebook has actually released a new feature earlier this month uh, called Facebook Premieres. It's a really cool thing. So what it essentially allows you to do is upload video on demand and make it look like live video. Um, it's pretty interesting. It used to actually be against their terms and conditions to upload um, VOD mm -hmm. and make it look like live video, but they changed it and made it a feature. And it's really interesting why. You might be asking yourself, you know, what's the point of that? It's actually really, really good for building hype. So mm -hmm. um, Facebook has realized that live video receives a ton more engagement uh, from the audience than VOD. So they are pushing that feature. Um, yeah, I mean, we actually haven't had a chance to play with Facebook premieres yet. It's something we definitely want to do. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm trying to think. We've been asked about you know, that support as well, but mm. I think it's a, it's a smart thing, right? It's a, it's a great way. Or if you think about when you watch a television show, right? So it's, you know, even though it's the first time that you're actually watching that content, you right. know, that's, that's the premiere element to it, uh, whether it's, you know, Package or not, but um, I think it's like you said, it's a great way to build hype, right? Exactly, for folks. Yeah. And, and have that sense of if you want to see it for the first time, you have to make sure you tune in at that, that date and time. Right, right. You know? you know, people are like tagging their friends, commenting on it, and sharing the post. No, so it totally makes sense. Yeah, I would agree with that. Definitely. Um, so, Rudy, what, what brings you to California? I want to hang out and get some uh, cool weather. It's cold in the East Coast. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, so um, we I, so the last couple of days were I was actually up in the Oakland area mm -hmm. um, attending an event called um, TechStars FounderCon. So um, TechStars, for folks that don't know, is it's a it's a network a mentorship driven network for startups and, and companies um, looking to grow and, and, and um, grow their business basically. And um, Switchboard Live was um, a company that went through one of the uh, programs. We actually went through. Um, Techstars Cloud, mm -hmm. which was in San Antonio in 2016. Um, and a fun fact, well, fun fact, but more of a historical fact, um, prior to going through um, the program, we were Joycaster. So we went into the program as Joycaster. Okay. And then one of the, the benefits of going in a program, they really challenge you on, you know, what's the benefit of the, the company and the product and what are your goals mm -hmm. and things that we weren't really, you know, really you know, ready for. But right. um, after those 90 days, we came out as Switchboard Live. Okay. Right. And so, and, and part of that was really like, what, you know, the value of the product you're building. Um, we wanted to make sure that it, it, it made sense. Right. Right. You know, Joycaster sounds cool, which is, 
you know, it's a great product. Um, it was our MVP. I mean, um, we have a lot of folks that use that. But if I said that to anyone on the street, they would have no idea what that means. Right. But at least, you know, with the switchboard, the connotation is there where you can, you know that it's some type of multiple inputs mm -hmm. and hopefully it has to go alive. So, so yeah, the last two days we're at, at Techstars FounderCon where they bring in all the founders um, that have participated in the program. Um, there's programming, there's an investor day where you get to meet and do these 30 minute speed dating session yeah. with investors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then also um, Biz Dev Day. So it's great to have some group meetings with um, mm -hmm. all different types of businesses. So, so yeah, you know, it was, it was, a, it was a great you know, start of the week. And this is an awesome way to kind of um, recap the week as yeah. well, hanging out with you guys. Great. Yeah, no, it's, it's really great that you're here because we're actually have recently integrated your API, Switchboard Live API, with our Webcaster X2, as right. you see right here. Yeah. Um, so basically what that means, if you know about the Webcaster X2, you know that it can only natively stream to one CDN at once. Right. That being you know, Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter. But now um, it's very easy to stream directly to Switchboard Live, and then they actually redistribute two different CDNs for you. So right. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah, that's definitely correct, yeah. Um, and in fact, you know, so our whole goal is you know, being able to support multiple encoders, but we actually took it a step further with this integration mm -hmm. and um, allowed users to be able to start and stop the stream yeah. from the webcaster. Right. So you know, that's, that was amazing, the fact that we were able to do that. Because the whole goal is to make it simple, right? We mm -hmm. want to make sure that it's simple for the user to be able to get video in and get it out wherever it needs to go, right? right. And yeah. so, um, so yeah, it's great that you guys have the ability with an API to, to um, open that up. Mm -hmm. um, and we're super excited to, um, to have folks you know, leverage you know, the power of, of both products put together. Yeah, yeah. So if some of you don't know, we're actually running a contest to give away one free Webcaster X2 and one year-long subscription oh, wow. to Switchboard Live. Um, so, I'm asking you, audience now, how would you use the Webcaster X2 with Switchboard Live if you were to win? Um, so, Rudy. That's a great question. Yeah, what, what is Switchboard Live exactly, and like, who would you say uses it the most? Great question. Um, so, so, for us, when we started down this path of building you know, a product, um, our goal was, you know, hey, People are going to live stream an event, right? Mm -hmm. They're going to live stream whatever it is, an event, award show, a weekly show like this, right? Yeah. But the challenge was, what platform do you pick? Right. right? Which one am I going to stream to? And then make sure that people know what date, what time, mm -hmm. when to tune in to watch that live event. And so for us, you know, one of the things that we put on that board is like, well, in theory, if, if there's a way to continue with the same encoder workflow, and you know you want to reach these destinations, let's create something in the middle that can do just that. And right. so that's where that, the idea kind of stemmed from, of being able to create a, a platform that does that. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to make it super easy, right? Mm -hmm. We wanted to make sure that it's not technical for someone you know, like us, right? Being yeah. able to you know, do that. And so um, that, was a, that was the goal, right? That okay. was the goal, was make something really easy for any content creator, big or small, to be able to publish live video to all of their social channels, mm -hmm. um, web players, um, you know, Apple TV, Roku, any type of destination where live video matters to them, right. um, easily, right? Mm -hmm. And and that's that's been that's been our mission. That's been our driving factor. Um, because what we find is, the more that you're able to put content where people are watching it, you know, the better engagement you're going to get. Oh yeah, you know, people are yeah. going to learn about your stuff. Um, and then, in fact, you know, they're searching for content. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to put your content where people are watching it, it's a great way for discoverability. Of course. And yeah. so that's, those are the things that we're starting to see really, really um, prove to be a tremendous value, mm -hmm. other than just having a you know, cool product like Switchboard Live. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We've actually had the opportunity to use Switchboard Live a couple of times here. Cool. Um, yeah, so actually, uh, about a couple months ago, we live streamed uh, an event called Summit Live in San Francisco. It's an event about live streaming, and you know, we were there. Yeah, I was there too. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. Um, it was great, it was great. We actually used one of our Pearl 2s, and with Switchboard Live, we streamed to 17 different destinations. 17? Yeah, so multiple Facebook pages, multiple Facebook accounts, um, YouTube channels, Twitch, or not, not Twitch, sorry, Periscope accounts as well. Um, and, you know, it seems like kind of a headache, right? You have to, like, get all this information from people, like login mm -hmm. information, let them, uh, or, you know, like, 
make the user an admin on your page so they can do that. Is it really that difficult or like? You know what, I, those are, and so once you create the, the high level of what you're trying to do, you're absolutely right. Those are the things that, you know, we solve for. So like, if you really want to break it down is, one, at that venue, right? What if that venue only had X amount of bandwidth? Yeah. Right, how could you send a super high quality HD stream from your Pearl to 17 different channels if you only had 10 megabits? Can't right, do yeah, that, no, right? can't do that Can't at do all. that, yeah. so that's the one thing you solve for. Two, you're absolutely right, being able to um, give out your credentials or make them a manager or mm -hmm. um, you know, a, a partner of that page to be able to stream to your, to your pages, right, and, 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 and create that link there, um, that's a challenge too, and, yeah. and having just to coordinate the effort for 17 different you know, mm -hmm. channels, that could be a, a thing. So that's another thing that we, we solve for you know, pretty, pretty easily. Yeah. And then lastly, being able to create those events. Right. Title, the, the description, the metadata, the tags, mm -hmm. creating uniformity across all of those platforms. Um, like that's, that, talk about pre-production prep, right? Yeah, you have exactly, to go to each right. one and put all that information in. And so mm -hmm. that's, a, that's, that's another thing. So those are, you're, you're absolutely right. Those are the intangible things that are just, people, I guess, really don't realize the power of you know, you, you, utilizing a platform like cloud right. versus just being able to push out content. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and, I, and, and at times, I realize that I probably don't do a good job of articulating that because I'm just so enamored with the, the fact that what we're doing behind the scenes is so awesome. Right, right. oh you know, yeah, no, totally. You know, streaming is tough as it is, but streaming to 17 different channels, mm -hmm. right? Think about it, that, that's it's a nightmare, right? Oh yeah. Or it could be, rather. Could be, well yeah. not with Switchboard Live. There you though. go, yeah. exactly. Uh, we've actually, we've used it, you, you mentioned the, the bandwidth issue, we actually used it for our live show that we had in Sweden. I saw uh, that show, yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember that show, yeah. So yep. uh, they were streaming from their hotel room and yep. they had very limited bandwidth, so they just sent one stream to Switchboard Live yep. and then Switchboard Live distributed it to both YouTube and Facebook. I remember when it, it's George, he was talking about like the mobile setup, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 I remember that. And, I, and when at, at the end of that, when I saw that, that's what, I, I didn't watch it live, I saw it post, mm -hmm. but um, it was interesting to see that that's, a, that's an example of where um, you have an issue or you have limited bandwidth um, where you can use a platform for that. Yeah. yeah. 